Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss a use case which you are asking quite often on Power BI community that is hiding a set of value from a particular level. So let's jump out of the Power BI and let's try to understand what this uh, problem is and how we wanted to resolve it. So to understand this problem let me add a new page to this file and let me explain you what exactly I need. So I added a new page by pressing the plus button below and then I'll drag brand from the item table which I have. This is my common model where I have a sales table joined with item table on item ID and I have already have a net major which is working on that. Rest all the tables right now we can ignore. I have a sales table with uh, joined with item table one to many with the date table on sales date uh, with the customer table on customer ID and with the city table on city ID. So this is my model and in this model I would like to uh, do that experiment. So I drag brand, I would also like to drag category here and I would also like to add net and because I'm on the march and I'm using on object interaction, I can actually click here and I can say add one more column and the base column I can go and add the net value. Now I can convert this into a matrix visual because that's where I wanted to implement this and I need to stop this suggest a type and need to bring in the brand here. Once I bring the brand here, I need to use this expand uh, icon and expand it. Now what I want here basically is for brand 11, let's say I don't want to show the subcategories. Now if I simply say, so you would say what is the problem you say uh, when it is brand 11 show blank, isn't it? That's the first thing comes to our mind. So we'll say, okay, let's create a new major and try to do that. So we create a new major here. We say net without brand 11 and as we think about the first time let's say if max of item brand and this is how we do when we create a major and we wanted to use a column so we need an aggregation and because that aggregation what we are needing uh, for a column which is present inside the uh, visual so we can simply use max so that's going to give us the results, uh, desired results. So max item run is the item run which is available in that row. Take a max of that. And it's going to be the same value. Max item run is equal to brand 11. Then you show me blank. And otherwise you show, show me net, isn't it? Okay. If max item brand equals to brand 11, then show me blank, otherwise show me none. net. So this is what we wanted. So if statement we have written. Now let's bring in this. Now what it actually does it and if I remove the net from this visual. Now it actually has removed brand 11 completely. That's what I don't want it. I want brand 11 to be shown but not the categories. What does that mean? This means that the level below, the second level, and this is typically the problem when you actually want the level, next level, so second level you don't want to. So for brand 11, I don't want to display the below level. So what would you do? And you have to remember that when even when you are using a matrix visual, now table visual, this is not going to be the case, little bit different case would be there, that the brand is always is in scope. So we are going to use is in scope function, which is going to help us dealing with that, but brand is always is in scope. The only change which is changing scope right now, other than the grand total, uh, the grand total brand is also not in scope. Category is only is in scope here. Category is not in scope here. So I want to ignore the brand 11 when category is in scope, not when the category is not in scope. So I say and is in scope item category. So when, when I want to ignore this value, when the category is in scope. Now you see this visual is a little bit different now. In this visual now you have brand 11, which is not showing any children's, but still displayed as a total. And this number is correct. See, simply if I need to ignore the brand 11, I could have used filter. Filter brand 11, isn't it? But that's not the intention. Intention here is that the one level it's going to show another level it's going to disappear. 
and because of this behavior we need to do this now what happens if you need it for multiple or you don't need it only for one let's say brand 11 and not for any other what you can do is not equal to brand 11 let's take that case first so if it is not equal to brand 11 and is in scope category what's happening you only seeing it for brand 11 and for rest you are not seeing the details now let's say you are you are having that multiple of that let's say brand 11 and 12 it should do so we can say in brand 11 comma brand 12 what's happening brand 11 and brand 12 both for both of them we are not getting the child levels and let me add the net again and let's let's look at the difference what we are getting right now so you will be able to see the difference see at this level i am not getting the values and that's why the levels are hidden see all the majors has to follow that if i want to add net margin gross category all of them has to obey that or maybe i go ahead and add this as a visual level filter and say okay at the visual level filter this is already their brand net is not there so now you are able to understand that at the second level i'm not getting the blank value that's why it was not showing now what happens if i add other measures so maybe i can that time i can try out that is not blank and you get the similar kind of result so if i have multiple majors let's say margin brand discount everything is there then i can you know use one of i can create one such major and use that as also visual level filter that's going to do the same job that's going to hide me now is it really hiding brand 11 and 12 or child or it's hidden everything so what you see here is basically is actually hidden it completely the brand 11 and 12 so you are not seeing brand 11 and 12 so that's not going to be a success for you because this is applying in a different manner this is not considering your level so visual level filter is not going to help you out in such case. So what you have to do is you have to create all the majors and then you have to use it. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.